What is going on guys, Dizzy Aaron here with a tutorial on a Feed the Beast tree farm. And not just any tree farm, a rubber tree farm. So as you can tell, it's just cranking away. And I am going to show you guys how you can get this thing going. It's per pretty early on in a Feed the Beast world. So probably your first couple days, you'll be able to build one of these guys and you will have a massive and I mean massive amounts. This has been running for a little bit. And as you can tell, I have massive amounts of IC2 and MFR rubber. So let's get started and I will go ahead and show you guys how to build this thing. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to build a 13 by 13 platform. And you're gonna need the items you see here. Not all of them, not that many diamonds. But um, yeah, okay, so the main things you're gonna need is a turtle, a planter, harvester and a diamond pipe along with the thermal expansion insertion transport pipe and a deep storage unit now for these um, items if you're not familiar uh, a planter and a harvester can both accept upgrades however you only need one upgrade um, for this size which is a 13 by 13 plot um, the max size you can use is um, a bronze upgrade so uh, we're gonna need one of those and if you do use one of the bronze upgrades you might be left with these hanging pieces so uh, if you don't want that to happen go ahead and use a copper upgrade but for this tutorial I will go ahead and use the biggest we can use which is the bronze upgrade okay so you're also gonna need uh, some way to get this thing jump started um, so we're just gonna use a redstone energy cell some conduits and then this little guy to help us with it. Okay, and then you're also gonna need um, a rubber sapling or any type of sapling you wanna do. This tree farm works with pretty much any type of tree that um, that you have in the game. So uh, you can do all the vanilla trees, you can do um, pretty much any tree. So go ahead and do that. And then what you're gonna do is find the center point of your land. So this is 13 by 13. So just go ahead and I marked it out right here and that, that's where you're going to place down your planter. So we're just going to knock this down, place the planter there and that's what it should look like on the inside. Let's go ahead and put our bronze upgrade in there. And like I said, if you don't want those little hanging pieces left over, go ahead and put in your copper upgrade and that will get rid of it. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and use that. Next, you're going to put your harvester right next to it facing in that direction. So you should have this little circle part in the back. So that's what it looks like. And next, grab your turtle and plop him down right next to it. So now you should have these two guys next to each other and the turtle slightly off to one side. So once you place those three items down, you're gonna grab an insertion pipe, place that down right next to it, grab um, two transport pipes, and that goes right there, and then grab one more insertion pipe. And this next part, you can put any type of storage you want. For this tutorial, I will use the Mine Factory deep storage unit. And if you're using a deep storage unit, just make sure that you have this set to the correct settings to be able to import it. So in this case, it's going to be importing items from the east. So make sure that east is set to input. All right. So now we're going to set all of our um, diamond pipes, which are only these two right here. So for that, we're going to place another deep storage unit right there. And this deep storage unit is going to uh, collect the wood. So we'll place that in there. And then on this side, we're going to collect our rubber. So again, uh, make sure that when you do this, you are setting, you have the correct settings in there. Uh, because if you don't, in, in your deep storage unit, you're not going to be able to collect them. So make sure that south is importing. And in this case, west is going to be our importing. All right. So now once that's all set up, we're going to come over to our turtle. And for this part, um, make sure that if you are going to be doing a rubber tree farm, that you don't use the same type of wood inside here. And you'll see what I mean in one second. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually, um, for those that don't know what a harvester does, um, typically a harvester would be placed on top right here and it scans a three by three area. And that area, once a tree grows, the harvester detects it and it'll start chopping it down. Well, since this is underground, um, or it would be in your case, uh, there's no way that this thing can detect it. So the turtle is actually going to be tricking this guy into thinking, hey, 
there's a tree in front of you. You should probably cut that down. So that's what the turtle's gonna do. So to get this set up, you're gonna place a stack of any type of wood in there. Um, it doesn't need to be a stack, but I just like to fill it up completely. And then just fill in the rest with any type of item. It could be sticks, it could be dirt, whatever you want. And then the code for this is gonna be really simple. I actually have it over here. So if you wanna pause the video, write this down, or just simply look at it while you're doing it. Just go ahead and do that now. But like I said, it's really easy. So just come back over to your turtle and you're gonna type in edit startup. And this is gonna make sure that this program runs every time that you start the your world up. So you're gonna edit startup and you're gonna type in while true do and then go to the next line, turtle dot place. And then it's gonna place down the first um, inventory slot. So that's number one. And then you're gonna tell it to sleep. Uh, it doesn't need to check all the time. So five seems to be a good number. You can set that longer if you'd like um, or shorter, up to you. And you're just gonna save that, exit out and reboot your program. So it's gonna place a block there. Uh, right now, these guys aren't powered up, so it's not gonna do anything. So let's go ahead and power these guys up. And for this, we're just gonna use um, some redstone uh, power conduits and once we get that going you will see this thing light up so let me grab my wrench real quick and then we'll just get that going so power is going to it all of these things are now powered up um, inside of your planter you're going to want to put your saplings in there so let me grab some saplings um, i was just doing a couple of tests before i did the video so i already put saplings in there but as you can see it was already coming in there so what it should be doing is it should be cutting this harvester is now chopping down everything on top of you and it's going to pop everything out on the side as opposed to the back and once it does that it refeeds the log the spruce wood back into the turtle because that's the first inventory you can find where that can go and then the rest of the items are going to come out this way so since we already set this up um, we should start to get some rubber inside of here and yep there goes the rubber so now we got some rubber in there and then in this back piece we should get our logs so now we got our rubber wood in the back and on this side we should get um since this is almost full or here i'll just fill it up since these items should pass that up and go straight into the next available spot which is this all right so it looks like everything's up and running um that's about it so you can manually come over here grab grab these logs um your rubber smelt that down or um, let me just show you guys some other options you have. On the right side over here, since we have the EU um, coming out of this, you're probably wondering, how do you get EU out of a tree farm? Well, it's pretty simple. Um, same concept where it's collecting your items, uh, but instead of just collecting the wood, what it's doing is I have a hopper underneath of that, and that's going into a sawmill. And from the sawmill, um, and that's from thermal expansion, if you didn't know, so from the sawmill, it's grinding up or chopping up all of the rubber wood. And what happens is uh, once that dumps out, you're gonna get IC2 rubber and it's also gonna make planks. They're being pulled out really fast. So these jungle wood planks are actually being pulled out by um, these extra utility transfer nodes. And those are being fed directly into um, generators. So the generators are using the jungle planks to build EU and that's going to go straight into MFSU and create all of your EU for you. So that's one way to create EU. Um, I also have a little setup over here that's um, grabbing the raw rubber and transforming that straight into rubber bars. So I like coming over here to my tree farms and just grabbing what I need and that would be raw uh, rubber bars as opposed to raw rubber. Now this setup over here is self-sustaining. so. What that means for you is you basically build it and you never have to worry about it. And the way that works is same general idea. You do the same setup with your planter harvester, but instead of just going into a, a deep storage unit and saving up the saplings over here, what it's doing is it's going into um, a biofuel generator or excuse me, it's going into the reactor. And when you put saplings into a reactor, what it does is it creates biofuel and that biofuel, if you place it directly next to a biofuel generator, it's gonna create MJ. So this actually has a thousand MJ sitting inside of it and it has um, 40 buckets of biofuel in it. 
So with that, that's more than enough to power up all of these items along with a powered furnace. So this one also has um, the deep storage unit with the raw wood or the rubber wood being fed into a furnace and that gives me charcoal. So as you can see, I have a pretty decent supply of charcoal and that charcoal is being fed directly into uh, steam engines from thermal expansion again. And um, that goes into redstone energy cells. So that's a way of producing your own buildcraft energy. And these two supplies of energy are not connected. So um, that's the, the biofuel reactor sustains your tree farm. And then this is separate. So th these only run based off your uh, charcoal output. And as you can tell, we have a surplus. So that means that I could actually add more engines to this and get more uh, buildcraft energy or more MJ. Um, so this whole thing was uh, based off of uh, Code Crafted's um, jungle wood tree farm. And he, he actually made this to power up two steam boilers. Um, so you can do this to power up steam boilers. And if you're playing on Feed the Beast Unleashed, you can use the power converters to simply convert your power from build craft to industrial craft. Um, and if you power up the steam boilers, you can use steam to um, power up all of your items. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any other questions about it, make sure you leave them in the comments. If this did help you out and you'd like to see some more tutorials on Feed the Beast or anything like that, go ahead and leave it a like so I know you guys enjoyed it. But that's gonna wrap it up guys. I'm Dizzy Aaron and I am out.